Hello again. This video is for um, a little brief overview of how stars form. Um, so we've been talking about the life of a star, low mass versus high mass. And so in this video, we are going to talk about a little bit more um, specifics and specifically here, protostars. So what's a protostar? A protostar is a star that's not a star yet. It is a forming star. Find more information about protostars in section 21.1. Um, as I said in a previous video, we are not spending much time on how stars form, but we are beginning now to get into the details of how stars evolve. So we're going to start before it's a star. Okay, so before it's a star, um, it's not doing hydrogen fusion yet, but we can begin to put it on the HR diagram. Where would it be? It would be on the far right hand side of the HR diagram. As we look at how stars evolve, I'm always going to tell you where they are in the HR diagram so that you can begin to see the whole picture on how the properties relate to evolution. Okay, so they're on the far right of the HR diagram. This is before they get to the main sequence. This is before they are hot enough to start fusion. Okay, so a couple of things you need to remember from previous notes. One is we said that stars form when these clouds of gas collapse. You get the star, a protostar, at the center of that cloud, but it hasn't turned on yet. It hasn't started hydrogen fusion. It's not on the main sequence yet. Instead, it starts over here on the right-hand side of the diagram. Where it starts depends on its mass. Did that protostar start out as a, a low mass or a high mass? And then as it starts to heat up, it's getting closer to the main sequence. It's going to move to the left on the diagram. What happens when something moves left? It's getting hotter, right? It's going to move left um, toward the main sequence. So it moves, sorry, I should say moves left toward the main sequence where a star sits when it's a star, okay? It's still not a star yet. Uh, okay, it moves left toward the main sequence. As it collapses and gets hotter. Okay. So big picture here, we have this thing, this big fluffy thing called a protostar. It's getting smaller and it's getting hotter, right? It's collapsing and getting hotter, so it moves left on the HR diagram. Let's come back to this mass thing for just a minute, and then that's all we're going to say about protostars. We said that mass determines how a star evolves. Mass determines where that star starts life on the main sequence. So mass determines a star's place on the main sequence. I'm going to abbreviate main sequence. And how it evolves after that, which we call its evolutionary track its evolutionary track on the HR diagram. And we're going to see some examples of evolutionary tracks as we go on. Low mass stars have different ones from high mass stars. Okay, um, an evolutionary track is just where does the star go on the HR diagram. Uh, one last point here. Um, when the star is on the main sequence, so when you're on the main sequence, um, that star is a star. <laughs> uh, by that I mean that the core 
is hot enough to start fusion, specifically hydrogen fusion. So I've said this a few times, a star is on the main sequence when it's doing hydrogen fusion. Before it's on the main sequence, it is a protostar. Okay, so these are protostars over here on this side. Protostars start on the right and they follow a track that goes to the left. If they are massive stars like this one, 15 times more massive than our sun, they will end up to be high mass stars. O and B type blue stars, high temperature, high luminosity stars. If they are low mass stars, like this one, less mass than our sun, it still moves basically um, to the left, to, gets hotter. It takes a little bit stranger track, but it ends up as a low mass star, maybe a K star, lower surface temperature, lower luminosity. So these guys are protostars, but here on the main sequence, we are stars and stars burn hydrogen. They do hydrogen fusion on the main sequence, okay? And we are going to pick it up there and talk about main sequence stars and then what happens after the main sequence as we move ahead.